in, I believe it was in spring 2016. I was kind of looking for a way to be able to do martial arts at the school. And then eventually through the school I was able to get in touch with Keith who really helped me in terms of getting the martial arts club set up. The club started pretty much entirely through the efforts of Josh Marcellus. Uh, I was already teaching martial arts at a gym in Gloversville, but I didn't have any uh, affiliation with the club here at the school. It was all Josh and his efforts to get that done and um, working with the other people in this community and the staff to get everything set up. A typical club meeting involves a review of previous lessons as well as a quick discussion with all of the club members to see what it is that they want to do uh, on that given day. If nothing comes up from students, I already have a plan to build off of whatever we did in the previous week, but I try to run the club as a collective so everybody is getting exactly what they want and offering exactly what they want from the club. Keith Morrison is a good instructor because he's very open to new ideas and encourages you to learn from interacting with the other person. So it's a very free form type of training which works very well with people. He does not teach traditional martial arts. He doesn't teach from one specific martial art. He teaches a variety of different moves and techniques to try to get you to become a better all-around athlete slash fighter. My approach to teaching martial arts is very fluid and free. Um, people do need to have basic skills in how to step, how to walk, how to kick, how to punch. But beyond that, I try not to make students rigid or give them an ideology to follow. I really try to help them find the way to express their body's movements. If you walk into a gym and then somebody starts teaching you how to move and changing how you move, you're likely to get very robotic, rigid, static. So I try not to do that. It's more like a dance class than a kickboxing class. I want everybody to be relaxed and to really, like I said earlier, be in touch with what's happening in their body and how their body naturally wants to express itself. It's just a mind thing. Like, don't let yourself get to that point. Stay relaxed, move. When you feel tired, you gotta focus on relaxation, not power. Find what you can to keep you moving through the situation. My favorite part of the martial arts club is that everybody brings their own techniques and they all have different backgrounds in martial arts. And it's not just one person teaching everybody, it's everybody teaching everybody. Because you get people from different backgrounds who know a lot of different things that you may not have thought about before. I know I never really imagined myself meeting a bunch of foreign students, but here I am at FM working with a bunch of other foreign students who have different backgrounds and who have different takes. I know we have people who have done Taekwondo, boxing, jujitsu, kickboxing, and all that. So it's really been cool to be able to work with them and learn from them. The community inside the martial arts club is pretty good because uh, everybody there is basically friends with each other. We talk outside of the martial arts club, we meet other places, so we've become pretty good friends over the semester and it's a pretty good community inside the club. I, I feel like we should try to have a strong sense of community in every environment that we're in. So to cultivate that mindset in the club is just, you should cultivate that in the club and when you walk outside of the club as well. And when I'm throwing, I've got a really long, wide stance. Why? I do it so I can shift my weight for more power. So that's one thing, is that I can punch from here, or I can punch from here. Just like he said, there's a huge weight shift that happens. So it creates this space and elasticity in your hips that goes to your shoulders and transitions out through your hand. As far as physically improving my skills, I've become a lot more versatile in my movement. Uh, I've picked up some speed and I've learned to put forward pressure. I have improved from going to the club a lot, from talking to the people, getting a breakdown of different techniques, how they work, what, what works, what doesn't work, and doing sparring. Sparring, I think, is one of the most important things to uh, learn a skill because you are applying your knowledge. Many people get into martial arts because they think it's going to make them physically healthy. But at the same time, it can really help people become mentally healthy. It can help build confidence as well as provide an outlet for frustrations or anxieties. When you start moving your body, you can kind of drop off your mind. Martial arts is one of the purest places to experience that. 
in movement or in combat with another person. Um, if you're interested in joining the club, I would tell you just to come in and check it out. A hard thing for people when they start a martial art or the first time they want to go to any kind of class that's physical is fear. People are afraid to walk in that door. Often they try to get a friend to go with them and then if the friend doesn't go, they back out too and they don't go. So that person loses that potential in their life. Eat the fear. Don't let it eat you. Just go in and try it, and as soon as you get in there and you start moving and everybody else is moving, that fear will melt away. For somebody who is interested in joining the club, I would tell them to just give it a shot and to, you know, just see if they like it. Try something new. You never know, you might end up loving it. It's not as intimidating as you would think. Uh, everybody there, they're all friends, and uh, there's like lesson plans, so it's, it's for all experience levels. You can come in there with no knowledge, of fighting or martial arts, and you can leave with a lot more knowledge. Our doors are always open for anybody who wants to come in and join us. It doesn't cost anything. We're always looking for new people, and so if it's something you're interested in, just come and check it out. We meet up from 4 to 6 on Tuesdays and Wednesdays.